Jessica. So if you do want to do a dot mandala later on, you can purchase the kit. You can get that right online um, when you purchase the art kits. And if you just go to creativelyuncorked.com and just to pick up an art kit to go, if you're on a computer. Now the link isn't showing right now on a phone. I'm not sure if it's showing on an iPad, but in the top right corner, you'll see a link that says art kit to go. So what you do then is you just click on that link or if it's, if you get our emails or if you're on our Facebook anywhere, you'll see the link. Um, but then you can go to the art kit to go and then you can just order a dot mandala kit. And with a dot mandala kit, you don't need any extra brushes with it. We're automatically just going to send you your dot, your dot tools. So yeah, if you want the art kit to go, that's, and you can do an a dot mandala later. All right, hi Beth, hi Jessica. Okay, so here's your kit. With the Dot Mandela kits, you get these uh, canvases, and this is chalk on this canvas. So when you're ready for the chalk to go away, you just use a damp paper towel, and you just gently wipe it, and the chalk comes right off. So don't worry about that, these lines are temporary. You get your dot tools. And yes, <laughs> yes, these are used. These are the tools that we use in the studio to teach with. And now they can be yours. All right, we have a variety of sizes. These are all numbered, that's a one. So two, three, so we have the different sizes, five different size dowels. And then we have the three different size dot tools. And each of these have two ends that are different sizes. Okay, so there'll be a red, green, and a yellow. You'll have your different paints and you do have the option of choosing a color scheme. But when I say color scheme, I don't mean like try to match your that particular shade of plum that you have in your living room because I won't know that shade. But you can say something like greens or blues or fall colors or spring colors or something like that. And then we'll, we'll pick you out a color scheme. You'll get uh, four colors, including white, and that's what you'll have in your kit. Okay, so this these colors that I have here, one thing that you'll also need when you're going along with this is a paper towel. A damp paper towel works the best. All right, onward. So we, oh, another thing in your kit, you're going to have some of these cheat sheets where you can have, you know, just some ideas of designs. I'm not going to follow along with any of them too closely. Here's another one. And whatever you have might just be different here and there. So what I'm going to do, open up a few of my colors here. Definitely going to use white. I think I'll also use my blue and my green. I might just limit it to these three. We'll see. And because these dot mandalas, once you get going, once you get going dotting on these, we have a hard time people get it. <laughs> we have a hard time having people get done within two hours because once you start dotting, you kind of want to keep going forever. And really you could spend a lot of time on one of these. Um, like for example, we've got one circle here and then you can see there's two more circles in the center of it. And then there's rows of dots all around the outside of that. And that's just in one circle. So you can build up all of your layers and you can just keep on going with this. I'll show you the way to keep it a little bit simpler and to go a little bit faster because that's my style. <laughs> so starting out with the uh, the number one dowel, the biggest dowel. Okay, I'm just dipping this in the white paint here. You do want enough paint on the end, but not so much that it's kind of globbing on, around the edges. And you'll just go right to the center and just press it down. And if it's not coming up exactly perfectly circle, because you might have some weird edges here, you might have some globs of paint, just give it a twist and that'll smooth that right out. Okay. And then I'll just set this over here on my damp paper towel. And it does help to actually clean it off because if the paint dries, then you're going to have a, an uneven edge. My next size, which is my smallest dowel, the number five dowel, and then I'm just going right straight to the top and work on opposites. So if you do opposites, you'll have the best luck and you want to leave kind of a little bit of breathing room between dots. So I'll just go right up to the top, press down, have a little bit of a gap there. The gap is about the width of my chalk line. 
Hi, Vicki. Thanks, Kim. And directly opposite. So one thing when you have these lines, it's really easy to, you can tilt it up and kind of get a good eye line on it. And you can see uh, that you can see that way to make sure they're directly across from each other. Another thing I'm doing is dotting. I'm dipping my um, my dowel into the paint every single time. The reason I'm doing that is to keep my dots an even size. I'm gonna hmm, keep going or no. All right, so instead of doing additional dots right in between those, I think they're going to get a little too close together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my next larger dot size. So my number four dowel. Okay, I'm just picking up some paint and then I'll move to right between some two dots. There, and this time I'm just barely covering up the next circle. So that's one thing it's really good to keep consistent. So try, try to keep your placement even. So if you're barely covering up the chalk line there, do the same on the opposite. Again, here's where doing opposites um, can help a lot. So I'm making sure that I'm going between those dots and a little bit up. So if you are a nurse or a teacher or really good at math <laughs> or straight lines, uh, then doing all these dots will probably appeal to you very much. Okay, next row, moving up to my number three. And if you're following along, you can switch colors anytime you want to. I'm going to use a similar color here for just a little while. Or am I? Hmm. Nope. Yeah, yeah, one more, one more row. Okay, so now this time with my number three row, I'm going between the two bigger dots, but a little bit farther out. So the inside of that circle is just touching my circle chalk line. Just giving that um, the dowel a little bit of a twist when I press it down, and that'll help to make sure that my circle is a little more circle shaped. Also, if you drink coffee, it's going to be really hard <laughs> to make non-shaky circles. Just a heads up for you. Hi, Cassie. Welcome. So for those of you that are just tuning in or are coming in late, I'm Shanna Kramer, and we're doing these live paint alongs at Creatively Uncorked all month because we miss you guys and coronavirus sucks. If you were, did pick up an art kit, you can be painting along now. If you did not pick up an art kit, next time. All right, now I'm on my next row of circles and I'm up to my number four, this should be. Oh, number two, I mean, up to my number two dowel. And you can go right on ahead and change colors when you want to. I'm going to continue with the same color just because it's easier to see on the TV. So I'm going to go right on my line where the lines cross. And that's just the best way to keep it even. We have these nice grids for a reason. Keep our nice little circles circly. And tomorrow's painting, um, when we do our, here we are, the purple tulip. This is one we're doing tomorrow for the paint along. And you can just order a kit online, really easy to do, creativelyuncorked.com. You can get them on the calendar. And if you're not local or if you're quarantined and you just can't get out, that one will be a little bit easier to follow along with if you didn't get a kit. The Dot Mandela, you kind of have to have a kit or have your own tools, have your own grid. I don't think most people do, so this is one it would definitely be better to get a kit for. And this video will be saved in our Facebook group. So if you'd like to pick up a kit um, in the Art Kit to Go style and watch this video later and follow along, you can absolutely do that. 
All right, so now I have my biggest row. I could go one bigger, but I think I won't. I think I'll stop here. And then I'm going to show you another technique, which is the walking dot. And the walking dot is the one that starts to look really cool. So these that are right around here on the edge, those are the walking dots. And these are the ones that will bring your mandala to life. So I'll show you the technique. I'm going to show you a few different techniques of things and let you go to town. <laughs> All right, so I'm switching colors this one time. And I'm also going back to my smallest dowel. This is my number five. And I'm going to the end of all of these big dots. Dipping it in the paint each time. Just to keep a consistent size. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to switch to my dot tools. I'll be switching to the green one because the green has got the biggest dot. You have a different dot size on each end of the dowel. So what I'm doing first is I'm just picking up my color and right next to that big green dot I just did, I'm going to press it down and just do a little swirl. Same thing on the other side, dipping it and painting in a little swirl. Okay. Wipe off your dot tool anytime you need to. Picking up a little more paint, this time outside of that dot. And then dot, 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 dot. Not dipping it back in the paint this time. And that makes my dots get a little bit smaller each time. There. And exactly the same thing. Move on to the next one. The hardest part for me is keeping my hand out of the wet paint. So, you know, <laughs> watch for that. And if you're not on camera, you're, if you're okay turning yours around, doing it whichever direction you want, do that. Oop, that one got a little wonky. And that's the way it is. A little swirl, a little swirl. And then a dot, 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 dot. Hi Sherry, hi Megan. Welcome, guys. So I think a lot of you might be not signed up for today or didn't pick up a kit, but maybe just checking in to see how it all goes. Um, yeah, this is kind of how it goes. Uh, I can walk you right through a painting. I know a lot of you have been to events at Creatively Uncorked, which is fantastic. Uh, but those of you that haven't, well, it'll be a little bit different when you do. <laughs> um, the Creative Land Cork Studio has, uh, well, we sell beer and wine, and it's age six and up. So when you come in for your event, you can come in and have a glass of something happy if you want. Or you can bring your kids if you want. Uh, we do have kids-specific class as well. <laughs> we will, again. We have in the past, and we will again once we're back in the swing of things once this coronavirus thing is all over. Uh, we have kids paintings every Saturday 10 a.m. So if you want to sign up for a kids class, but it's kind of weird to say that since we really can't do those right now. So one thing that we do have is art to go kits. So you can order that right on the website creativelyuncorked.com. Check the shop and you can see the art to go. We have about I'd say 50 different painting designs in there that you can choose from and then you can just come in and pick up your kit and the art to go is a little bit different you don't have to watch a video to follow along um, instead we have instructions included and we have a pre-sketch canvas for you so it's a little bit different and you can paint a little more at your leisure if you don't have paint brushes we can send you paint brushes too while supplies last because <laughs> i don't know if you know this but uh so supply chains are becoming disrupted and we'll sell whatever canvas and whatever brushes that we have, but I don't know how many more there will be. So now between all my green dots, I'm on my number three. So I'm going to go right on the inside edge of that chalk circle. So order your kits soon. Um, all the kits that were ordered today that were not being shipped out, that were being picked up, 
it, as long as they were ordered before, say, 4 o'clock today, those are all completed at the studio waiting to be picked up. So if you have one to pick up, go ahead and do that. Our studio is at uh, 715 13th Avenue East, Suite 101 in West Fargo. And yeah, we're, we're there from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. weekdays right now, um, available for art kit pickup. Okay, kind of like how that color looks. I think I want to do one more row of walking dots. I'll do it very similar to last time, so I'll start with my number five dowel, but I want to do blue. So I'm going blue walking on the blue dots. So right at the top of that blue, I'll just go right around to each of them. But we have um, most of our kids' paintings are options on the art to go kit. There we go, that's good. And same thing, I'll take my big green dot and a little swirl, a little swirl, and walk the dots down. And these little swirls are going right to the side of that number two blue dot and just walking the dots down. And you can see in a few areas where it's going to be squeezed a little bit tighter if some of your dots were bigger or if they were slightly off center when you were placing your big dots. That's okay, keep right on going. There are a lot of important things in the world to worry about and it, exactly where these dots are not among those important things to worry about this is a nice little meditative form of art <laughs> art therapy i think um, just because you can get so involved in it and so focused on it trying to make everything perfect and if you find peace by being by working on perfect things this is exactly the right kind of art therapy for you if you find peace by making a mess, maybe maybe tomorrow's painting. <laughs> Come back tomorrow for the tulip. This one I would say it would be appropriate for about age maybe, I don't know, I'd say age 11 and up. Age 11 would probably get do this really, really well because that's about the age I start really um, focusing on details. Okay, I think I'll go back to the green now and do another a row of green walking dots. Hmm, I know. I think I want actually white walking dots. So I'm going to use my number, where's my number? I think it's a number four. And I'm going to come right up here above this green one. I'm, hmm, is that big enough? If not, I'll do it again. Oh, yeah, that's big enough. And yes, <laughs> in case you are wondering, I am entirely making this up. I'm not following a pattern. I'm not following instructions. We will send patterns for you. We'll send you a few different cheat sheets like this, a few different um, inspirations. Um, if you want to follow along with that, you can. Me personally, I find it a little too frustrating to try and follow along with that exactly. What if the grid isn't the same? What if the dots aren't the same size? You know, any little thing that might not work out. So it's best to just take a look at what you're working with and just make a judgment call. All right, now I'm going to do a, another row with my big dot will be the number five. So right at the top of that green. And see, I'm getting a little bit off my line there. The closer you can stay to exactly right on the line, the more even it will all be. Uh, and when you start getting your dots really close together, it'll make a difference. Oh, 
Hi, Joanne. Hi, Holly. How are you guys? Are any of you guys in quarantine? <laughs> I'm just curious. I've been hearing a lot of stories today about people being in quarantine, about people not being in quarantine when they're supposed to be. My gosh. So all I can say is uh, Creatively Incorked is doing our part to, to give you a reason to stay inside um, and not be out and about if you're, if you're meant to be in quarantine or isolation or just plain social distancing. Most of our studio events are canceling during March and we're trying to do these online instead as much as possible. We do have the art kits for sale, of course. Um, one of the classes that is going to go on as planned is going to be the chunky blanket class this Sunday. So if you ever wanted to do the chunky blanket knitting, those we have a decent amount of social distancing. I mean, you're not gonna be, probably not gonna be within six feet of another person. So I think those classes are probably okay. Of course, you know, use some caution, use your, uh, Use your common sense. If you're sick or coughing or whatever, uh, you know, stay home. Anyway, so I'm just doing some big kind of wiggle dots right on the outside of these green ones. That's a bonus dot. You don't have to make that one. I'm just walking them down. Pro tip, don't drink coffee before doing this. And another pro tip, Go ahead and rotate your canvas as you work. I'm trying to move my arm around um, so I'm not sticking my arm in wet paint. <laughs> it makes painting a little more of a challenge. So you will have all the freedom you want when you do your own. Okay, do I want to do any more rows? <laughs> You're on self-quarantine, Joanne? Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I mean, <laughs> stay safe. Stay indoors if you have to. Uh, one thing we're going to start doing tomorrow is if you are quarantined or you can't be out or you shouldn't be out, um, I know we've been saying order an art kit, come and pick it up. What if you can't? What if you need to stay home? Well, starting tomorrow, we're going to be able to start delivering as well as shipping. And that'll be on the website when you order your kit. Um, it's not on there yet tonight, but it'll be on there tomorrow. Um, a shipping option or a delivery option. So now when we deliver... We're not gonna walk right up to your door and shake your hand and hand it to you because <laughs> that would defeat the purpose. Um, we, can, we can walk up and uh, leave it on your front step or something like that. Or if you are able to leave and get into your car and drive someplace, drive-through style. I mean, they're doing drive-through testing, so probably being in your own car might be okay. I'm guessing. Don't listen to me like I'm the CDC or anything, but um, it seems to be safe if they're telling you to do drive-through testing. Uh, so one of the things that we can do is just, if you're on your way to the studio to pick up your art kit, give us a call, tell us you're going to be out front, we'll run out and hand it to you. So we're just handing it to you through your window, good to go. So we have ways around, you know, we don't want anybody getting sick, we don't want to be spreading any germs, so yeah, just give us a call, we'll work with you. Okay, next row, I'm going to make these dots a little smaller, so instead of going with my big number five, I'm going to take my green one. Just do that little dot right at the ends of these. And I'm doing a little swirl dot, so it'll be slightly bigger than just dropping a dot. A little bit of a swirl dot. There we go. So I'm liking the greens and the blues, but I also think maybe I might want to try another little bit of a color in here. So now this time when I'm walking my dots, I'm walking all the way down. And if you don't have your paint in little cups like this, if you're putting it out on like a palette or a paper plate or something, which is pretty common, uh, the paint dries really, really fast. And if you spend um, three hours on your dot mandala, which a lot of people do, I get it, it's not hard to do, then your paint will be dry by the time you get to the end. So if you have like a little bottle of paint you can pour out, just pour out a little bit at a time. Just a couple of drops at a time on your paper, on your palette. And just add more as you need it, that way it won't dry out. Okay, kind of getting bored with these colors. I'll finish out these row of dots. So what are you guys doing to stay entertained when you're 
when you're staying in the house and not going to work and not going to school. I know not everybody's painting all day long, so <laughs> what, do you, what else are you guys doing to keep, keep yourselves entertained? Is anybody still going to work on a regular basis? Is there anybody that has a job that has not been affected by this? That's what I kind of want to know. I've been hearing about maybe the post office getting shut down in some states and some cities. So is there anybody that's unaffected by this? All right, now we have a lovely green row and I'm tired of green, so moving on. And might be tired of blue too. I might go back to just plain white. Just be sure to put your lids back on your paint. Don't let them dry out. By the time you get to the end of it, you won't have enough paint left over. So let me see. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to do one row of... How about I... Yeah. Just thinking here. Actually, I think I might go with a decent sized white dot, like right about that big. Yeah, I think that. Finding any new Netflix shows to binge? What's your favorite Netflix show right now? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I can't see your answers right away. It's about a 30 second delay. So just go ahead and type what you want and I'll read it when I get to it or when it comes up. Okay, moving on to my number three. I'm going to stick to that same color, I think. This one's ending up right in the crosshairs again. I think this will be my last row. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of how it works. I just wanted to do a few rows just to, um, cause I know I'm going to be saving this video in here and I just want to make sure that it's there uh, in case you need to come back to it later and rewatch it. But I think you have a general idea. Hey, they look like little snowmen. Let's give those snowmen some arms. Some legs, I mean. Starting a row of walking dots down my second white circle. The body of the snowman. And, oh, hi, Christine. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Yep. I'm going to just finish a couple rows of walking dots here, and I think I'll turn it off for the day. Because, you know, like I was saying, that if you're, if you're one of those type A's, if you're, you know, there are two kinds of people in the world, the kind that can do straight lines, and the rest of us. <laughs> if you're one of those people that can do straight lines, if you like numbers, if you like order, if you like things to be exactly right, dot mandalas are for you. I, however, <laughs> am not, uh, I'm not the kind of person who um, appreciates straight lines. How's that? Not saying I can't make a straight line because, you know, I know where to find a ruler, but these things require patience 
and I prefer to paint things that are fun and a little bit more flowy and a little bit more, um, let's see, what's a good word to it? Hmm, action-y? I'll think of a better word later. Anyway, so this is the one we're doing tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a fun painting. This is an old Creative Living Cork painting from like almost six years ago. Can you believe it? And this is a fun one. So I'm looking forward to painting this one. And the best part about this one, very few dots. <laughs> we have a few dots here, a few dots there. I mean, if you like dots, hey, guess what? Good news. Tomorrow's painting has dots too. <laughs> and a snowman some wings. And kits for tomorrow's painting will be on sale until, until four o'clock for sure, but I think it's possible we can keep it open until five o'clock and just have a few hours prepped. That way, if you're you know running late, just getting off work, can't, can't decide if you wanted to do it or not until the last minute, um, just go ahead and Put your order in. Do put the order in online though at creativelyuncorked.com.